Hi everyone, I'm Bino Kumar Diam, an assistant teacher of St. Joseph High Secondary School in Fall. Today, I'm going to present you a video about an activity that will show how to identify uh, three different liquids, which is an acidic solution, a basic solution, and an neutral solution with the help of thermic indicators. So, before we begin our activity, I'd like all my students to know this point, some points about this activity. Here are the points. Point number one says, passes turn yellow color of thermic indicator red. Point number two says, acids do not change the color of thermic indicator. Point number three says, neutral solution do not change the color of thermic indicator. Point number four says the mixture of an acidic solution and a basic solution is neutral in nature. And point number five says the mixture of a basic solution and a neutral solution is a basic in nature. And the last point number six says the mixture of an acidic solution and a neutral solution is acidic in nature. Okay then, and now let's come to our activity. Okay, <clears throat> before we actually start our activity, I'd like uh, you to introduce what these things are, okay? So, this is mixture 1, mixture, uh, sorry, liquid 1, liquid 2, liquid 3, and this is mixture 1, mixture 2. Th these two will be, uh, will be made after work, uh, but this is just for, this is for saying, uh, be careful for making mix uh, mixture 1, and this is for making mixture 2. Okay, this is a mi in fact, these are three mixtures are actually an acidic solution. Another one is a basic solution, and the remaining one is the neutral solution. But we don't know which one is which. I mean, uh, which one is the acidic solution, which one is the basic solution, and which one is the neutral solution with the help of these thermic indicators. But we will find out which one is the real acidic solution, and which one is the real basic solution, and which one is the real neutral solution okay <clears throat> so first of all we need to we need to put some uh, one drop each from these three liquids on these thermal indicators and uh, we will see the changes of the colors that will take place in this thermal indicator accordingly we will find out which one is the acidic solution and which one is the basic solution and which one is the neutral solution so let us start taking one drop each from these three liquids so let me take one drop from this liquid one so I put this thermal indicator one drop from the liquid one okay now let us take one more drop from the liquid two and let me put it here one drop of that liquid too okay now we need to take one more drop from this liquid tree and let us put here now let's see what is going to happen on these thermal indicators in terms of color okay we have seen we have seen in this term, uh, thermic indicators here we have seen the yellow color of the thermic indicator turns red and on the other hand on these two indicators we don't see any change of color okay from this we can say that this liquid one is a basic solution because a basic solution always turns the yellow color of the thermal indicator red so this is already confirmed this is a basic solution whereas in these two indicators we don't see any change of colors so we still need to find out out of these two which one is the acidic solution and which one is the neutral solution for that we need to make two different mixtures so I put here mixture one with a name in this speaker and this one mixture two in this speaker. Okay, now let us make this mixture one. For that we need to take 
one drop again from this liquid one. This liquid one, liquid one, we have already known that this is a basic solution. So let me take one drop from this basic solution and let me put in this mixture one beaker. Okay, now let us take one more drop from this liquid two. And let me mix this in the mix, uh, mixture one beaker because we are making a mixture, mixture of two different liquids. Now, after, now we have finished making this mixture one from this uh, liquid one and liquid two. But in fact, uh, we have already known that this mixture one, sorry, uh, this liquid one is a basic solution and this mixture, uh, sorry, this liquid two still we don't know what, what type of uh, solution is, is it. So let us see. Let us see afterwards uh, the effect of this mixture. Now we need to make one more mixture that is mixture two. For this uh, mixture two we need to take one more drop from this liquid one. This liquid one is nothing but a basic solution. So let me put this one drop from the basic solution of this uh, liquid one to this mixture two beaker. Now, after putting one drop from this basic solution here, we need to take one drop from this liquid three. So, I'm taking one and let me put here in this mixture two beaker. Okay, now we have finished making uh, two different mixtures. This is mixture one and this is mixture two. Now this time, we need to take one drop from this mixture one and let us put this drop here in this turmeric indicator okay now we need to take one more drop from the mixture two bigger one drop and let me put here that drop in this turmeric indicator Okay, now, now let us see what will going to happen on these turmeric indicators, I mean these two. Okay, here we clearly have seen that in this turmeric indicator there is no any change of color. But here, the yellow color of the turmeric indicator changes to red. This means this one I put the drop from this mixture one and from and in, in this indicator I put the drop from this mixture two. This mixture one is made from a drop from here and a drop from here. And this one is we have already known that this one is a basic solution. There is no any change of color is here. This means a neutral solution is formed. When in, in, the, in this uh, mixture one, a basic solution is formed in mixture one. That means this is a basic solution and this is an acidic solution. The mixture of a basic solution and an acidic solution is always neutral. So because of this neutralization reaction take place, it, be, it behaves like neutral in nature. That is why no change in color is found in this thermodynamic indicator. Now, in this, we have seen the changes of the color, yellow to red. This means this is a drop from the mixture two, and this mixture two is uh, is made from this mixture, uh, this liquid one and this liquid three. This liquid one we have already confirmed that this is a basic solution, and this is now we confirm that this is a neutral neutral solution because. The mixture of a basic solution and a neutral solution is always a basic in nature. It's always basic in nature. So we confirm that liquid 3 is a neutral solution. So from this activity, we can, we can easily identify from the three different liquids which are an acidic solution, a basic solution, and a neutral solution 
with the help of thermal indicators. Uh, before we end this uh, video, I like I would like to say something. I made this uh, this acidic solution from the vinegar because vinegar contains acetic acid, and this uh, basic solution I made from uh, baking soda, that is sodium. Sorry, I uh, I made a mistake. Okay, let me say uh, this one is the ba uh, basic solution, and this one is the acidic solution. I made this the uh, basic solution uh, from the baking soda. Uh, baking soda that is sodium bicarbonate and this uh, acid I made it from the uh, vinegar acetic acid and this uh, third one is the uh, neutral solution I made from the sugar that is sugar solution okay in this way we can easily find out uh, the nature of the liquids with the help of thermal indicators okay thank you for watching my videos all the best my dear students bye bye